Welcome to this hands-on tutorial on S3 event notifications. In this video, we'll learn how to set up S3 event notifications to send messages to an SQS queue whenever an object is uploaded. Let's start by creating a new S3 bucket. Let's name this S3 bucket. Now click Create Bucket. Once the bucket is created, click on it. Go to the Properties tab. Scroll down to Event Notifications. Here, you have two options. Create an event notification, or Enable Amazon Event Bridge integration. For this tutorial, we'll use the first option, creating a simple event notification. Click on Create Event Notification. Let's name this event notification. You can add prefix or suffix, but we'll skip that. Now choose the event types. Let's react to all object create events. That means, whenever a new object is added, the event triggers. There are other options like put, post, copy, multipart upload completed, but we'll keep it simple. You can notice, we can configure to react to many other S3 events, object removal, object restore and many others. But we will keep it simple. Scroll down to the destination section. Here, you can send events to a Lambda function, an SNS topic, or an SQS queue. We'll send our event to an SQS queue. But before that we need to have an SQS queue and grant access to Amazon S3 to publish messages on that SQS queue. Let's go to Amazon SQS and create a new queue. Let's name this SQS queue. Click Create Queue. Back in the S3 console, refresh the event notification form. Now select the created SQS queue from the dropdown. Try saving, but we'll get an error, unable to validate the following destination configurations. That's because S3 doesn't yet have permission to send messages to the queue. So, let's fix the access policy. Go back to the SQS queue, click on Queue Policies tab, and then click Edit on the access policy. Scroll down and open the policy generator. Choose SQS as the service. Set the effect to Allow. For principal asterisk, it's a bit extra permissive but it's okay as it is just for learning. Action, send message. Paste the ARN of your SQS queue as the resource. Generate the policy and copy it. Paste it into the access policy field and save. Now this policy will be used to allow anyone to publish on this SQS queue. Now, go back to S3 and try saving the event notification again. This time, it should work. When you save it, S3 sends a test message to SQS. Go to your SQS queue, click send and receive messages. Click poll for messages. You'll see a test message has arrived. It was sent by S3 to test the connectivity. Feel free to delete it. Now let's test it with a real upload. Go to the S3 bucket and click upload. Add a file, I'll upload this file, naturescene.jpg. Click upload to finish. The file is now in the bucket. Go back to your SQS queue. Click Poll for Messages again. You'll see a new message was received. Click on the message to open it. Look at the Event Name field, it says Object Created Put. Scroll down, you'll see the key is NatureScene.jpg. That confirms the event notification worked. So that's it. We successfully set up an S3 event notification to an SQS queue. You can also send events to Lambda, SNS, or even integrate with EventBridge. This is a great way to automate workflows, like creating thumbnails or processing uploaded data.